Staying on the topic of MAGA turning on Ron DeSantis, I have a moment for you of um, Mike Lindell just melting down completely, not even taking one breath in this whole rant, um, which is quite wild to watch. But before I need to give you the context, Ron DeSantis held, and to be clear, the, the meltdown from Mike Lindell is about Ron DeSantis, and all of this is just so entertaining to, uh, to watch. DeSantis did this event where he brought in people to talk about defamation and lying of the media and all these different things. And you can see, actually we'll play a little bit from this video, from this event. The truths on the cutting room floor and the narratives that they're supporting and, and furthering uh, actually damage a lot of people with lies. And so we have a number of people here who are well versed either personally or professionally in the area of, of defamation law. And, and at the end of the day, what I think. Okay, so kind of in a newsy style studio there. Well, a part of this panel was an individual named Elizabeth or Libby Locke. And she has represented, is, is re currently representing Dominion Voting Systems in their defamation uh, suits against people like Mike Lindell and Rudy Giuliani based on their election lies against Dominion. And so DeSantis, it seems to be a troll against Trump, brought someone who is representing the company that is the center of so many conspiracies about how Trump lost the election to chat during this panel about um, the lying of the media, which is truly incredible. And Mike Lindell was very unhappy. Take a look. He's a run and that's a long way from being done. He, it would disqualify oh. him from running or being the nominee. Well, it, he's totally disqualified because actually think of this, Steve. So he's talking about DeSantis being disqualified because of this. They, the people that did the Rasmussen poll went out for me with the RNC, almost doubling the other two combined. What do I, what do I stand for? I stand for we got to get rid of these these computers in our elections and have fair elections elections instead of selection. You just took the number one thing on people's minds in this country, their number one concern. You can say, oh, it's the borders, it's the fentanyl, it's the gas prices. No, that all was from a stolen election. That was a manifestation of a stolen election and follows that as a country that was stolen. What he did today, he told the American people, you know what? Dominion's okay. You know what? These machines are okay. You're out. And I'm telling you, I will never, ever let up on this, Steve. This is the thing you have to understand. I, I will never stop on this. If he, you know, I don't care if he calls me up and says, How is he getting oxygen into his lungs? This is impressive. I didn't mean nothing, but it don't matter. The damage is done. You sat with them. They have tried to destroy our country. And now you're done. The best thing he could do is is endorse Donald Trump tomorrow morning. He should just do it today while this is still manifesting out because uh, he should just say, you know what? You know, I don't know, lie, Ron. Just say you didn't know and say, but I'm going to make up to the people and I'm going to endorse Donald Trump because it'll be a big waste of time and resources for Ron DeSantis to run now. All the big money that's behind him, you just will forget about putting your dollars there now. Take those dollars and put it into a, election not crime and put it into that people that are out there working hard to save your country that includes all your um big donors that are back in desantis i don't know i don't know if the Koch brothers are or who's behind it but it's disgusting oh my goodness guys i consume a lot of caffeine and have never been able to get myself to that energy level um so very unhappy. And I do think we're seeing this become very clear within the MAGA right, which is not just we want Trump, um, but Sanders has done some cool stuff. It's now shifting because that was the initial attitude. When I would go to Trump rallies and stuff, people would say, yeah, I mean, Sanders is cool, but Trump's my my guy. It's shifting. And now there's a hatred developing because DeSantis is getting involved in the actual um, clashing when before he would get attacked by Trump, but would kind of not engage. Now he seems to be trolling Trump there. We don't know for sure, but bringing a defamation, um, or a dominion voting systems, defamation case related person is quite the obvious troll of Trump 
and uh, Mike Lindell has seemed to perceive it that way. And so I do think we're seeing if DeSantis will go ahead and announce, it's going to be quite the heated Republican primary that will be so fun to watch, so fun to cover. And we will be there every step of the way with you. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get the full bonus show every single Saturday, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. Link in the description.